Hello, welcome to you plant tube channel. In this video, you will be shown how to start your cauliflower seeds, a small time lapse video of the germination process, how and when to transplant your seedlings, and finally harvesting your cauliflower. Let's begin. For the purpose of this video, this is the seed tray that I will be using. So the first thing we need to do is to fill the potting tray with some potting soil. Now make a couple of holes half an inch deep and place one seed per hole. This step-by-step -step guide will help you successfully succeed in growing cauliflower from seed in a raised planter box and is ideal for all those people who don't have sufficient space to grow directly in the ground. Using your finger, lightly cover the seeds that you have just planted with soil in the seed tray. Now at this stage, give your seeds a good thorough soaking of water. Cauliflower seeds germination usually takes 8-10 to 10 days, so be patient. Finally, place a label with the name of the vegetable you are growing and the date. Now that the seeds have been planted, let's have a look at the germination process in a small time lapse video. So we planted 24 seeds and 12 germinated, that's 50% germination rate. The seedlings have outgrown the potting tray and need to be transplanted into individual pots. The pots should be filled almost halfway with some good quality potting soil. Now you have to remove the seedlings from the seed tray. No really easy way to do this with this type of seed tray. Place the seed tray on its side while pressing the bottom part of the seed tray and letting gravity help you extract it. Not to worry, shallow roots, no roots were damaged. Now refill the pot with some more potting soil. Now that we have finished transplanting, don't forget to give them a thorough watering. After 43 days, I had retransplanted them into another larger pot. This is the raised planter box we will be using, and this is the soil depth requirement. After 50 days, this raised planter box will be their final destination. Before I plant them into this planter box, I will go ahead and amend the soil with some good organic compost. Six cauliflower seedlings is all I need for this planter box. Turn the pot upside down and place two fingers in between the seedling and with your other hand tap lightly as shown in the video to extract the plant. A good root system will hold all the soil together. Now I place the plant in the hole I just made and cover it with soil. Now I continue to plant the rest of the seedlings.
Finally, I add an extra layer of homemade organic compost. At this stage, I need to water the seedlings and the compost I have just added. The first cauliflower head here has been harvested and now the rest of the plants are also ready to be harvested. These cauliflower plants were planted directly in the ground when I planted the other cauliflower plants into the planter box. The ones in the planter box are ready to be harvested. These ones that were planted directly in the ground are not quite ready yet. Last year we grew some cauliflower plants, but unfortunately they did not grow any heads in a raised bed. The reason for this was documented in a video. The link is above. Here is a small clip from that video. Feel free to ask me any questions related to the video in the comment section below. I hope you have found this video of interest and consider subscribing if you have not already done so. Also, I would appreciate if you hit that like button. Thanks for watching.